Giles Parkinson, editor of The Driven at the Everything Electric Conference in um, Melbourne. We're outside now and we're, this is the first of a kind new electric trucks. Now, heavy electric trucks haven't transitioned very quickly in Australia, but you do get this, this sense that it's about to happen. So we've had stories about various logistic um, giants starting to roll out and trial electric trucks. So they're doing it, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 here. Um, a lot of them have been done with sort of conventional sort of electric trucks, but this is a new Chinese brand. This is the first one of its type. Interesting thing about this one is this has been fully approved for Australia. It's going to be on sale later on this year. It's going to cost around $300,000, which is probably half the price of most heavy electric trucks. It's got a battery, 600 kilowatts, kilowatt hour um, battery. Gives a range fully loaded of about 440 kilometers. Um, probably not going to be an interstate driving truck thing, but probably mostly around the city. And there's plenty of use for a heavy electric truck doing that. So um, the difference with the Windrose, if you remember, the Windrose was a bit like the Tesla Semi, had it's like a center wheel right in the middle. This one's more conventional on the right hand side for our load roads. And the interesting thing is it has been priced, it has been approved and it is for sale. But Let's go and check the inside. So we're just inside um, the Deepway truck and it's pretty interesting, very high, you know, no problems with the uh, with the height. It's got a bed here in the back there. It's um, bigger than a single bed. What's the interesting thing is what probably what we call the suicide doors. The doors actually go reverse backwards, which is different. I'm not really too sure why, but um, that's the way they've done it. Um, the inside is really clean. I mean, it kind of looks like most electric cars that people have either seen or sat in. You basically got a key here, you press your foot on the pedal, the dashboard lights up, and there it is. Um, we're not going to drive it here because I don't think we've got permission to, but we're moving the steering wheels with this power steering. It is really, really light. And even you do might get some initial skepticism from some of the people who drive these machines because they've been doing one thing for so long. As soon as you put them into an electric truck, it's pretty, the transition to being a EV driver and wanting to drive electric happens pretty quickly. And this is pretty cool. Um, you know, it's got sort of cruise control and, um, um, you know, it's sort of not quite self-driving, but it was sort of an adaptive cruise, so it can probably steer itself with cameras. Um, it's gonna be really interesting to see how well it is taken up in the Australian market, because you do get the sense now that the logistics companies and the retailers and all the other people who are delivering stuff around the place, they're itching to go electric now. One, to save costs, and two, because it's a good thing to go green.